everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina. This is my horse Gemini. And in today's video, we are going over how to correctly fit a Western saddle. So knowing how to correctly fit a saddle is a skill that every single horse person should have under their belt. It's really, really important because our tack is our equipment. So like with any sport, whether you do, you know, skiing or soccer, making sure that your equipment correctly fits you and also your horse because horseback riding is a collaborative sport. It's a partnership is really important. If you have a ill-fitted saddle, it can cause your horse a lot of discomfort and pain and can lead to a lot of behavioral issues in the horse as well. A lot of people who have horses that have behavioral issues or vices of some sort just think that it's the horse themselves, but in reality, a lot of it can stem from having a poorly fitted saddle. And, um, you know, horses are incredibly large, very strong creatures. <laughs> um, but it's also really important to understand just how sensitive they are, especially the horse's back and their skin is very, very sensitive. So if there's a poorly fitted saddle on your horse's back, it's going to cause uh, discomfort and pain. And all of that can come out in behavioral issues such as bucking, bolting, cinchiness, among a lot of other things. Keep in mind that all horses' bodies are different, which is why we have to make sure that each saddle that we're using with the horse fits because not one saddle will fit every single horse because all horses' backs are different. Gemini here is an appendix gelding, which means that he is a thoroughbred and a quarter horse cross, and he has pretty much like the average built of most appendix that I have seen. Some horses have shorter backs or longer backs or a wider built or a more narrower built, and it totally depends on the horse, which is why it's important to make sure that every single saddle you use fits the horse correctly to avoid any pain, discomfort, and those behavioral issues that we don't want to deal with. If you are looking into getting a saddle or maybe are just discussing saddles in general, there are two phrases that come up a lot that confuse some people, and those are semi-quarter horse bars and full quarter horse bars. And I want to break that down for you. So this right here is just a traditional synthetic Western saddle. And when they say phrases like semi-quarter horse bars or full quarter horse bars, it refers to the general structure of the saddle. And if I get this up here, it's kind of hard to show you. But as you guys can see, there are flares right here. Okay, And every single saddle has something called a tree inside. I'll put an image of what the tree generally looks like for a western saddle. And you can think of the tree like the main internal structure slash foundation of the saddle. A lot of times the trees can be made of wood or some type of plastic and they're the main internal structure of the saddle. And if you look right here, you can see that there's like a flare right here. So when they say semi-quarter horse bars, these are the bars right here of the saddle, semi-quarter horse bars are narrower. So these two bars would be closer together. And then with full quarter horse bars, you're going to see those two bars a little bit wider. But why does all this matter? Well, basically, semi-quarter horse bars are made for horses that have a more narrower built. It totally depends on each individual horse because, you know, it's not always the breed that determines whether your horse has a more narrower built. But like a breed like the thoroughbred usually has a more narrower built on their wither right here, which is the base of their neck and down their back or their top line. Um, so usually semi-quarter horse bars are gonna fit a horse with a more narrower built. And then full quarter horse bars are gonna fit horses that are a little bit wider. So a saddle that has full quarter horse bars would probably fit like a pretty stocky, bigger quarter horse um, or any of those breeds that are a little bit more filled out. Another interesting fact is that most older saddles, so we're talking about saddles that are um, probably 40 years or older, most of them were built with semi-quarter horse bars because horses back then were a lot narrower built and uh, these days in recent times we have really bred a lot of horses to be a bit stockier if you think of like your traditional quarter horse. Horses today are generally more filled out and bigger than they were like 40, 50 plus years ago. 
So most older saddles that you'll find are likely built with semi-quarter horse bars. I also want to clarify that the bars of the saddle, if you look right here, here's one bar, there's another bar, okay? So that, you know, refers to the entire under structure of the saddle. My horse Gemini back here, generally saddles with full quarter horse bars fit him better than semi-quarter horse bars because although he is an appendix and he is not built like super wide or stocky, I find that saddles with semi-quarter horse bars tend to pinch him at his wither because right here, okay, the gullet right here is a little bit too narrow for him and so it pinches him there, which is not good. Gemini, I've had him since he was just just turned three. When I first got him, semi uh, saddle with the semi quarter horse bars fit him the best. And then as he grew older, he's five now, he started to fill out more and then full quarter horse bar saddles generally fit him better. So keep in mind that all horses' bodies change. So you want to be examining how your saddle fits your horse frequently. I would say every, like depending on the age of your horse, if it's a younger horse, it's still growing about every six months you need to be checking that saddle fit because the horse's body is changing and growing. And then with older horses, probably over the age of five or six, it's really important to be checking at least once a year because their bodies totally change over time. So first, I'm gonna try this saddle here on Gemini. This is the saddle I used to ride Gemini in before he outgrew it. So this would be a poorly fitting saddle. You guys are gonna see how I determine that it doesn't fit him anymore. And then we're going to try on the saddle that does fit him that I currently ride him in. So in order to fit a saddle to a horse, the first thing you need to do is tie your horse up to something secure so you can have a handle on your horse. And then you want your horse's back to be completely bare so there's nothing on his back, there's no saddle pad. And then we also want him to be standing somewhat square, which means that his legs are somewhat together and he's standing in a more balanced position where he'll be even. Let's get this saddle up on his back and then we'll talk about the fit of it. And the first thing you want to figure out is to make sure that this saddle is in proper placement. So you're going to shimmy it around a little bit, okay? So all horses have a very particular spot on their back. Uh, where they are the most balanced and the most equipped to handle the weight of a saddle and the rider. And so what you're going to do, I want you just to kind of shimmy it back a little bit by just gently kind of pushing on the pommel and allowing the saddle to find that sweet spot where it's going to land correctly. I'm just kind of pushing it, letting it kind of wiggle back. And I'm not pushing it back. I'm just allowing it to kind of find that sweet spot. And then from here, I'm taking a step back and I'm just looking at the saddle to see if it is even on my horse's back. If you have a saddle that sits like this, okay, where the front is pitched down, that's not a good sign. It means the saddle doesn't fit evenly. And also if you have a saddle that's like this, where the front is pitched up and the back is pressing down, that's also a sign that the saddle doesn't fit the horse properly. You want to see the saddle to sit pretty level and look even. Now let's examine the saddle from the front, working our way to the back. So here at the front, I want you to take your hand and have your palm facing away from your horse's body, kind of up almost. And then you're going to slide your hand and see if you can slide it down the front part of the saddle where those bars are that we were just talking about. So here I go. Now, right here, you guys, I am hardly able to continue pulling my hand down because my fingers get stuck right about here, okay? Now that is a bad sign because if you can't smoothly run your fingers down like this without having your hand almost be pinched so tight between the saddle and your horse's back, that's a sign that there is a pinching spot, okay? So right here, it is so tight, I can barely get my fingers through to slide down. And so that means that my horse is experiencing a lot of pressure right here and it's pinching him. Ideally, you want to be able to have your hand in here and just slide it down smoothly and not feel any intense pressure. You know, you are going to feel contact of your hand against the saddle, but you don't want it to be so tight that you like struggle to get your hands down because that means that it's pinching. Now, if you have difficulty simply just sliding your hand between the saddle and your horse's back right here, that's a sign that the saddle doesn't fit. 
But for the sake of this video, we're going to move on to the next step. The next thing that you would do to see if it fits correctly, which would be checking the gullet clearance. And so the gullet is just the front part of the saddle, the opening, and I'm going to flash an image of what that is on the screen now. And the gullet is essentially the front opening of the saddle. It's really important that we check that there is adequate clearance in the gullet for your horse's wither, because if the gullet makes contact with the wither, it can rub and create a lot of discomfort and pain and possibly even saddle sores if that happens. So... To look at the gullet, you're going to use your hands to check that there's proper clearance by using three fingers, okay? So ideally, you want to be able to fit three fingers um, from your horse's wither to the top of the saddle, okay, to that gullet. And if you can only fit maybe one finger, it's a sign likely that the saddle's bars are too wide, meaning maybe you are trying out a full quarter quarter horse bars saddle on your horse when your horse may need a semi and if you can only fit one finger that's usually what it means because it means that the saddle is too wide and so it's just kind of almost resting on your horse's wither and two fingers is not enough because when the rider puts their weight in the saddle it pushes the saddle down because there's weight inside of it and if you only have two fingers, there's a chance that you're probably down to one finger once the rider puts their weight in the saddle. Ideally, you want to be able to fit three fingers with like this from your horse's wither to the gullet. And if you can do that, it's a sign that that part fits. As you guys just saw, I was able to successfully fit three fingers width into the gullet and my gullet wasn't making contact with my horse's withers and there was enough clearance. So technically the gullet part actually fits Gemini. Step three includes checking the bars of the saddle. And this requires you to, of course, use your hand like you're doing the whole time to check. Take your hand with your palm facing down like you would pet the horse, that palm on the horse's body. You're gonna slide your hand up underneath where those bars are that I showed you. Gently, underneath the bars, Move your hand along and see if there's even pressure where the bars make even contact with the horse's back. So what I mean by that is if you put your hand under here and you start moving along and you notice that there's almost a pressure point where uh, the saddle presses heavily on one spot versus the other and the pressure's not even all the way alongside the bars going down, it's probably not a good fit. So you want to be able to smoothly slide your hand underneath the bars and not have any sharp points of contact. It's really important that you check this on both sides of the horse's body because some horses will have, you know, different conformation with their backs on either side. So be sure to double check on both. But I'm looking to just slide my hand under smoothly. And to be honest, the front of the saddle is putting significant pressure uh, right about here is where my hand is. It's a lot of pressure there. And then over here, it kind of lets out and it's a little bit smoother for me to put my hand back. That right there is a sign that the saddle is not a good fit for him. This is something that a lot of people forget to check, but with a lot of horses that have short backs, you might struggle with using saddles that have a skirt like this that is rectangular and fairly uh, long because like with Gemini here, when the saddle is on his back, you see how the skirt, which is this part right here, guys, the skirt the end of it is right about where his flank is, which is this part of his body right here. And it's almost like if he were to engage his hind end, use his butt a little bit and lift up, the skirt might actually make contact with the upper part of his flank and just, you know, be a little bit too long for his back. So that's another thing to check out. If you have a horse with a really short back, usually a, um, a rounded skirt may be better. So there's like more of a contour and it's a little bit shorter than this really long skirt. So keep that in mind too. So this is a trick to test the fit of the saddle that not a lot of people know about. But what you'll do is you're gonna take one of your hands, put it in the stirrup and press down, pointing straight to the ground. Like you're almost trying to slide the saddle off your horse's back with even pressure, okay? So if your saddle, while you do this test, just goes whoop and it falls off your horse like that, Good boy, Gemini. Um, that likely means that the saddle is too wide. Maybe you have a saddle on that has full quarter horse bars and it's really wide and it's just almost like roly poly on the horse's back. 
So when you put that in there, the saddle is just going to slide down. It means the saddle is a little too wide and just able to move on the horse's back. Ideally, when you do this, you want to see the saddle not go anywhere. And some people will go as far as to say you should be able to mount up and without even a cinch on to test whether the saddle fits nicely balanced um, and fairly snug to the horse's back. But that's not one that everyone does. You know, it's not hugely necessary, but if you have a saddle that you're suspecting might be too wide, it's a good idea to do that test. The saddle is uh, way too tight in the front, primarily in the gullet and along the bars. It's just pinching him so much that we're gonna take the saddle off and then I'm gonna show you the saddle that I am currently riding him in that fits him pretty decently. All right, so this is my Abetta Synthetic Western Trail slash Pleasure Saddle. This saddle I have had for years. I actually got it off of Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks when I lived back in Oregon. And it's very comfortable and I love it because it's very lightweight, okay? Look at this, <laughs> I can toss it. And a lot of people, you know, don't consider how much weight they are putting on their horse. When you add your tack, um, as well as the rider's weight, it shouldn't um, equal more than about 20% because you could cause overstrain and pain to your horse's back if you have more than 20%. So this saddle is very lightweight. The other saddle I had on earlier is a very heavy, probably like 45 pound roping saddle and roping saddles generally are very heavy. But I really love this little synthetic one because it's very light and so I know that I'm putting less weight on my horse. Which helps make him comfortable too and I feel like it gives him more speed as well because he's not lugging around a super heavy saddle as well as my weight. So once again, I'm just going to wiggle it back a little bit to kind of fall into that sweet spot on his back. Make sure it's sitting decently on him. We're taking that step back, looking at the saddle, seeing if it sits evenly on his back, making sure it's not too high or low in any places. And what I'm seeing here is that it sits nice and even. We have the saddle horn coming up straight back here. The saddle has a fairly low to like medium height of the cantle, which is this part right here. Um, so to me, it looks pretty even on his back. I'm gonna check how the bars feel and see right there, you guys could see I was able to easily slide my hand between his back and the saddle with really no pressure points that are pushing in. It's a tiny bit snug right at the start, like right here, which is something that I am aware of already, but it's not, you know, pushing down so much where it's gonna cause a lot of pain, but it is a tiny bit tight there. A lot of times with saddle fitting, because every single horse's back is different, you may never find a perfect fitting saddle for your horse, which is very likely, unless you have a custom saddle built, but that costs a lot of money and some people don't even have those resources nearby them. So sometimes you just have to try out a lot of different saddles until you find one that decently fits and then work with some saddle pads that are built up um, or other things to help increase the fit of it, make it fit better. And then moving on to check for gullet clearance. I'm going to take my fingers, three fingers, and see if I can fit those in there. And this saddle actually fits with even a tiny bit more than three fingers. He just stood up on his back leg, so the saddle kind of shifted. But I'm able to fit three fingers in here uh, without it being too snug. And that's a really, really good sign because we got our gullet clearance there. Moving on to the bars, I'm taking my hand with my palm facing up away from my horse, sliding it up under the bars, and seeing if I can gently and smoothly just glide my hand up underneath them, and I feel even pressure, so that's a great sign. I'm taking a look at the skirt of the saddle and making sure that's not interfering with my horse's body. So it actually looks like it's a pretty good length for his back because we see that the skirt is not pressing in here on his back or by his flank. Um, it makes pretty good clearance there, so that's a good sign as well. And now moving on to that test that some people swear by, but it's a good little extra one to do. I'm gonna put my hand in the stirrup, press down, and you see that that saddle stays in place. 
it's not rolling, so that's a good sign there too. So all in all, you guys, it looks like this saddle is a pretty good fit for Mr. Gemini over here, which is good news to me because sometimes it can be really, really difficult to find a good saddle that fits. I hope you guys have enjoyed the saddle fitting video. And if you have any questions or comments that you would like to leave me, make sure that you put them down in the comment box below. Give us a thumbs up and also subscribe for similar videos like this. And Gemini is going to get some much-deserved cookies. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!